Honor and Duty D-Day VR looks like a mobile VR game. Despite the graphics, the PSVR community has some glowing reviews for this game. Is Honor and Duty D-Day VR worth getting on PC? Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we are going to review Honor and Duty D-Day. It was released on the Steam Store July 23rd, 2020. On the Steam Store it says February 26th, 2019, but that is not correct. It was developed by Strange Game Studios. It's available for all the major headsets except Windows Mixed Reality. Although there is a post on the Steam Community Forums that it does work if you edit controller bindings. I did not try that. I tried it out on Windows Mixed Reality and it just wasn't responsive with the motion controllers and I was too lazy to edit controller bindings. So I tested it out on Oculus Rift. It works perfectly fine. However, there, there is this one, I don't want to call it a bug, but an odd thing. The weapon by default is way too small. There's actually a setting in the menu for your weapon scale. And I didn't find out about this until after I recorded my gameplay that you're watching, but yes, you can scale the weapon to be normal size. You have to scale, scale it all the way to the maximum though. Which was unfortunate because I couldn't aim down sights and I didn't know that. I wish I had known that before I recorded the gameplay. Well, c'est la vie. Now this is a budget price multiplayer game. So I'm not going to compare it to something like Call of Duty. However, it has a lot of glowing reviews on PSVR on the PlayStation community. And I'm having trouble seeing why this is not a good VR multiplayer game. Not on PC. We have much better VR experiences. And this game is pretty much substandard in almost every possible way. The only place where it really is competitive is with the price. But I'd rather pay something that's twice as, as expensive as this that's just better made overall. This is a pretty poor, poor experience all the way around. So it has poor locomotion, uh, it has several bugs, it, there's almost no community here. I believe this was supposed to have crossplay. I don't know that that's true. If it does, where is the PSVR community? Because every time I played this game, I've only encountered one or two other people online to play against. Now, the good news is there are bots. So I did start off several matches with just bots and they are available in the normal multiplayer modes, a team death match, free for all, the domination game mode. However, if you try to start a battle royale, then it will not start without other people there. So there are bots, so you can always play the multiplayer modes, either private or public, with other bots. So there are bots, and in fact, if another player comes online, they'll go away. That happened to me on this video. They go away, and then you just go against the other player. Unfortunately, this game really isn't fun 1v1 especially if the other player has played this game more than you and has some of the weapons unlocked. I didn't have anything unlocked at this point. I, I was just playing the game. I maybe played the game for, for about two hours. So I didn't unlock a whole lot in this game. And I probably should have played a private match against the bots and unlocked stuff that way and then come back here against multiplayer. Because when you go against other players and they just have better classes and they can, they're able to get better weapons, it's just going to be a mismatch. And you'll see later on this video that this guy was using rocket launchers, uh, he was using flamethrowers, all sorts of stuff that I didn't have access to. Now I did have access to a shotgun, but I didn't realize that. So I didn't realize that you can actually buy weapons during the round so that was my mistake there i should have gotten a shotgun because obviously he was also using a shotgun to very lethal effect on me and unfortunately you can tell from this gameplay video there is a weapon imbalance so several weapons are just overpowered especially if you just have the starter assault class with this, with the basic starter weapon you have you're, you're gonna get killed it's just because it takes you a lot longer to kill them than it does for them to kill you this game is running on the Unity engine and for the most part it was running fine. However, it did have several frame rate drops. 
which is unusual just because this is a low polygon world. It really should not have any troubles running on my rig, but still I had those graphical issues, those frame rate drops, which did affect gameplay. You have full look of motion and snap turning. However, smooth turning is not available. The full look of motion was not very polished. I had pathing issues and it seemed like it would go from side to side randomly so it felt like you were drunk almost while moving around the map i did not like it um, i did not like the map layouts the guns did not feel really good to handle um, you could one hand every single weapon and they have automatic reload and they're just so imbalanced it just doesn't make a lot of sense now it's not all bad there is some nice things about this game there is nice variety with all the weapons the different classes even the vehicles you can drive are kind of fun a little bit but just overall i can summarize this game by saying it's an ugly looking game that's not polished that has a low player base if i have to rate it i give it a four out of ten i'm fast lawyer if you like my review don't forget to like comment subscribe have a wonderful day goodbye